We're at the Old Town Recovery Center on the corner of Burnside and Broadway. This building has mental health treatment and primary health care serving the needs of homeless people in the Portland area. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. You know, nationwide, teachers spend on average 1700 bucks a year out of pocket for supplies for their classroom. But thanks to a local organization, teachers are getting a break. Please welcome Caitlin Collins-Domingo. She is the Community Engagement Coordinator for Schoolhouse Supplies. Thanks for being here. Tell me a little bit about Schoolhouse Supplies. Well, thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. um, so Schoolhouse Supplies, we provide free school supplies to students and teachers in need. And the need is greater than ever. Um, over the last 12 years, Schoolhouse Supplies has distributed $15.4 million worth mm -hmm. of school supplies to Portland Public Schools. Do you think a lot of people realize that their kids, teachers, are spending that much money out of pocket? I don't think a lot of people do. Um, the average cost of school supplies per student per year is almost $100. So I think some parents who have several children mm -hmm. in school might have some sense of how expensive that is, but maybe not recognize that their, their child's teacher is spending that much money. Well, Schoolhouse Supplies steps in and helps out, but now there is a crisis that you're facing, right? Well, our, the shelves of our free store are a little low right now. I don't think people are really thinking about school supplies at this time of year. It's mm -hmm. like the holiday seasons have just passed, but the, the need happens year round. Um, there's 21,000 students um, in need in Portland right now of assistance. And we um, want to make sure that they have the supplies they need year round to succeed in school. Now, you know, the perception and, and correct me if I'm wrong, of Schoolhouse Supplies is, your organization that, that comes around every couple months before the start of the school year and passes out uh, backpacks and such. Right, and that is one of our programs, the um, Tools for Schools Backpack Program, but we are working year round. And during the entire school year, we have a free store for teachers where we serve all of the schools in Portland Public Schools. Teachers can come in, get what they need for their classroom. And that's what we really need help on right now is those shelves are low. So supplies that you would think of like crayons, loose leaf paper, scissors, glue sticks, we're in need of those, but also things like office supplies, staples, paper clips, copy paper, mm -hmm. and things that might seem even more different than what you would think when you're thinking about school supplies like toys and incentives that teachers can give out in their classrooms, even like branded tote bags that your office has too many of. We're looking for all of that. Do you have any programs for offices to get involved as a, as a unit? Offices can host supply drives mm -hmm. to get some of those new supplies in, but we also, um, if you're having a big office cleanup, you can bring some of that extra copy paper that you have, maybe some of those branded items I was talking about, and we even have a pickup program where volunteers come and pick up the donations, then bring them back to our office. Now, do you have a program where volunteers would go into a business or an office and explain exactly how to conduct a drive, what is needed exactly, and, and where to drop it off? There's different ways that you can get stuff to school supplies. Um, for a drive, what you're talking about, we do have yearly drives, but you can have a drive whenever you want and we can provide you with a whole kit with the materials, so the signage, everything uh -huh. that you need to make that drive a success. And where does your money come from right now to buy these supplies? Well, we rely on donations from the community to buy our supplies. We have large school supply drives at the beginning of the year, but throughout the rest of the year, we're looking for just donations from the community. Tell me about the on point community credit union spelling bee and that, how that helps you. Yes, well this is our annual fundraiser which we're very excited coming up on February 3rd. It's a Friday at the Portland Art Museum where we're going to have Mayor Sam Adams, um, Timber Joey and some other local celebrities there and it's a fundraiser and the fun part of that is the celebrity spelling bee that takes place. So people can buy tickets to that online at our website at um, www.schoolhousesupplies.org. But there's very few tickets left. <laughs> right. um, another way to get involved is to volunteer at that event. And we also have volunteer opportunities year round. Caitlin, thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. Don't ask me to spell Caitlin. It's, it's difficult for me. Anyway, make it a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.